All right, this is the latest mod I did. It's an arcade one up, uh, Miss Pac Man 40th anniversary. And um, I went ahead and did a Raspberry Pi mod on it. Um, I put in some LED buttons in place of the stock stuff that came with it. This was a headphone jack, so now that's my select button. That's my hotkey. That gives me my coins uh, for main games. And I'll move this over. You can see a button behind the joystick there. That's the, originally that was on off, and then the other one's the volume. But I drilled those out um, using uh, the step bit. Um, that's, that's about 30 bucks at Lowe's or whatever. Um, they last forever. Once you get one, you don't need to buy another one. So just on that and uh, go all the way to the end with it um, for the beginners out there who don't know. So just go all the way to the end, all the way through. And that's going to be the perfect hole size to do your arcade buttons. Um, and I'll go ahead and boot the machine up so we can get going here. Um, what's going on is um, I had some aspect ratio and some uh, resolution issues going on. Um, so in, right now they are currently in the wrong setting so that I could do the video. And I'm just going to go through a couple of different areas on uh, Raspberry Pi and Emulation Station where you got to uh, change some settings and you can get your game and your menus to, uh, to look right. So uh, it's pretty loud. I'm using uh, just actually just one speaker and uh, it's this uh, clip. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's a computer speaker. Um, I'm running that off a 100 watt amp. Just one of these speakers is very loud and it's got good bass. It's got um, bass and treble adjustments on the speaker itself. So that's that. It's booting in. It's booting up right now, and it's going into um, emulation station as you can see. And um, what I'm going to do is I just show you a couple of issues. Nothing major, but um, I'll just show you where to go on Raspberry on the uh, on RetroPie and emulation station to fix your aspect ratio issues. I'm going to zoom this in. And we can, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. There we go. And uh, right now, I want to show you real quick. It's got Amiga 626, Arcade Games 2075, Atari. I'm just going to go through Atari 800 links. Luca, you can just see all the games here. The number, they're all numbered here. So this, that's good, yeah. 64 it, 64 games you don't really do good on the Raspberry Pi but I don't care those are all horizontal I'm not using this cap for that so all I really care about is the arcade games and the vertical vertically oriented games so um, I'm going to show you really quick about my, my favorites menu and that's where a lot of vertical games are stored um, I want to show you really fast what my problem is you see how it's cutting off the launch that needs to be visible that's the pet peeve of mine so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix that and um, we'll just uh, exit out of this and we're just gonna go over here to um, retro pie settings and this is where I also have a keyboard plugged up right now so you can see what I'm doing or actually you have to have a keyboard so that I can do change the settings just the joysticks or a, a joypad will not do it so you gotta go down here to, um, we're gonna go to Raspy Config. And through this portion, you can use the joysticks. I'm using joystick right now. Go down to advanced options, but no matter what I hit, I can't get in there. So I have to use enter on the keyboard to go in there. So now I'm gonna go down here to resolution. And you can see, it, that's how it usually is. It's like a 16.9 because the uh, SD card thinks it's a horizontal. So what we're going to do though, and is go to, this, this resolution is only going to affect the menu screens. Um, it's not going to change what's going on in the game. So just to change your menu resolution, I want to do like this. I need to use a 4.3. You got all these different 4.3s. 640, 480, 800, 600. Um, I found that the uh, 1024 68 is the best. You can, it's going to make that word launch appear correctly. 
So just uh, DMT mode, uh, 17, 18, same thing. This is just 60, it's like the refresh rate, I guess. 60 hours, 70 hours, 75. I don't know. Uh, I'm not an expert on all this shit. I just know what I had to do. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put on uh, 17, hit enter, and resolution set to 17. So you go down to select again, you go to the bottom and then hit right arrow for select, right arrow again for finish, and we're gonna hit finish. And it's asking me, uh, do I wanna reboot? And I'm gonna hit yes. I'm just gonna hit enter on that. Then the machine's gonna reboot. Um, I'm gonna zoom it out again here. There we go. Um, and then the menu should be good to go as far as uh, that word launch. I'm, I'm really looking for that thing to be clearly visible when we come back. And after I show you that, then we're gonna go to the other adjustment and fix the game problem. So here we go again, the fucking splash trees. Every time you do these settings, you have to reboot, otherwise the settings don't take effect. Oh, and also in case you're wondering, I use the uh, VS Display, that's the uh, video control board that you gotta use to uh, convert your uh, you know, the VGA signal into an HDMI. Um, apologize for the dead air. We are coming back up to the menu very soon. Yeah. All right, we're gonna zoom it back. Okay. All right, let's go over to the favorites again. And as you can see, I'll look down for you. There you go, launch is clearly nice and visible. We got that problem fixed. Now, what we'll do is we're going to go into um, Miss Pac-Man, which is the game that we did the cab about. All right, this is the arcade version. You see it's got the, uh, the video previews for everything. It's got descriptions. So I really like this little setup. It's pretty cool. Let's go into this. Um, the game's playable at this current resolution, um, but it's not perfect. And, and I'll, uh, I'll show you, it's got too much room. Um, it's got too many, too much gap between the top and bottom. So I'm gonna fix it. Um, that's a different part of your settings. You see, there we go. Yeah, it's actually, it's cutting off. Um, I'm zoom in. And you can see it cuts off the top half like of the words one up and um your high score and your two up it's that's screwy and I, that, that, that's also a pet peeve of mine so we're gonna have to fix that and what we're gonna do is uh of course hit hit start select get out of that game and uh back out of this menu and we're gonna go back over to our retro pie and then on this part we're gonna go to configuration editor which is here And configure basic uh, Libretro emulator options. That's the first one. Let me zoom in a little bit more for that. There we go. And what you're going to do is we're going to configure it for all the arcade games. Now, you just got all your systems here Amiga, Amstrad, Arcade, Atari Season. So, anyway, we're, we're, we're focusing on the arcade right now. So, we're going to do arcade and aspect ratio. And as you see, the aspect ratio is unset, so we need to fix that. And this is the the crazy part about it, guys and gals. This thing is gonna work with a seven nine, and I've done this shit with all the different choices. And I thought seven nine, like what the fuck is that? I don't know. It works perfectly, and uh, you saw how the how the game was before. I'll show you here in a second. So there we go, it's set, we're gonna hit cancel, 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 get out of that. Now we're gonna hit start, now to uh, quit, and restart the system. That, that's gonna give us our reboot to uh, make the changes take effect. Really restart? Yes. 
and zoom back out and um, this will be the last time we have to reboot because now all the settings are in place um, just a little heads up guys if you're messing around with the uh, the Pagmans and the USB encoders you gotta have two of these to make the two player work if you want player two to work you have to at least plug in your start button for player two to a to the second USB encoder and what I use, I'll show you here, dummy buttons. I plug in these for my for when I do my button mapping. I do, you know, start and then I do a, a dummy select. And then actually I have to do the A button. You don't have to worry about B, X, or Y, because you can just do not define for everything else. But you have to do that when you map your buttons so that the machine recognizes there's two joysticks. Um, when you get into the game as Pac-Man and you do two-player, everything reverts back to the player one joystick, so you only need one joystick to play. Um, however, when you're mapping your buttons, you got to make the computer think that there's two. And so you, you know, like I said, you got to use some um, dummy buttons and a, and a second encoder. But once you get the second encoder mapped, go ahead and unplug all these dummy buttons and um, unplug the joystick. You need to uh, unplug a joystick temporarily up as well, and then that will um, that will get you going. All right, so here we go back into the menus and back to the games so do over your favorites and uh, I'm going to go down to Miss Pac-Man and uh, back out Cool. I'm taking a minute to pull it up. All right. Now you can see the problem has been fixed. The one up and two up and high score are clearly visible. And the bezel is not blocking it. So there you go. There's that problem fix. You're going to use a 7 9. Okay. That's, that's what you got to do. Um, so. Yeah, here we go. That's that's that, and um, that pretty much concludes it, man. Um, I'll go ahead and just pop it in. We'll just do a little gameplay here, and um, we'll put in that's credit uh, player one only, and one or two players. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit player two, and here we go. Oh, a little Miss Pac-Man action. So that's that. I'm going to go to player two. And see, it goes back to player, the same joystick. And we're on player two. All right. There we go. So there we go, guys. That's the, uh, that's, that's the uh, 40th anniversary of Ms. Pac-Man. That shows you how to fix some aspect ratio issues. I hope it helps. Um, if you do me a favor and just absolutely hip thrust the fuck out of that like button, okay? Just dry hump the shit out of that like button. I would really appreciate it. And uh, happy gaming, guys. If I could be of any help, please message me. All right, peace.